Yo, what up, what up, what up, fun time, it's your boy Jimmy Robin. Welcome to the camp of fun time, man. You know, even though I'm in my room, but Charlie, wherever I am, is a fun time camp, yeah? Wherever I am is a fun time camp, man. Uh, Charlie, I am, but I still think I have to do this, uh, uh, I have to, you know, have a conversation with my audience. Yeah, I think I have to have a conversation, an important conversation with my audience, man. Yo, so today I'm here to address uh, an important issue, like an important issue that has really been a topic for uh, for a very long time now, man. It has been a <clears throat> it, it has been an issue for a very long time now. Come, oh. okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so it has been a very important issue for a very long time now, and uh, I think I really have to address it, man. For some time now, we've been having a whole lot of conversation, you know, regarding the hip hop genre. I mean, the English hip hop genre in Ghana. You know, people can always kind of had the perception that if there is no way we can break through as hip-hop musician like english hip-hop musician because we've had series of you know hip-hop songs you know breaking through you know without you know with the local dialect man we have the likes of sakwadi we have the likes of yao talk the likes of strong men the likes of you know series of musician breaking through every day in this country you know doing their you know the local di the local english and um that has really you know led to a conversation you know created a perception to uh the minds of my people in the minds of my Ghanaian, my fellow Ghanaians that there's no way we can break through you know charlie if we stop this uh english thing you are doing because you know it's not really but we have the likes of the Lil Wins, the Jay Z's, the Nasty Nas, Kendrick Lamar, you know, Eminem's. We have series of hip hop. You know, currently, even our current generation, we have the likes of Lil Deck, Baby, The Baby, you know, Lil Baby, yeah. You know, we have all these musicians, you know, trending number one in a country like Ghana. Just recently, Kendrick Lamar dropped an album. Kendrick Lamar dropped an album, and you know, for, for weeks, or for some yeah for weeks the album has been trending you know has been in the trends of you know ghana youtube and all the streaming platforms kendrick lamar's uh latest video official video uh, you know i've forgotten the title of the song has been trending number one for more than a week in ghana and currently yesterday you know just this morning i went to check and you know it, it was trending number three and my question is who are those listening to these songs Hmm? Who are those listening to these songs? You know, I think all these perceptions, you know, the perceptions, you know, we have for uh kind of like are not really real entirely true. But even though the hip hop thing is not really breaking through like the afro, you know, I, I mean within the space of our you know, within the space of Africa, I think the hip hop thing is not really big, bigger like the Afro, you know, the Afro beats and the high life, the likes of high lives. And I will blame we, the hip hop musician, because, you know, we've been, we've allowed, we've been allowed to, you know, we've, you know, we've actually fall into the perception, you know, the, uh, the wrong perception people have created re uh, around the hip hop genre. We've, you know, fallen to that perception, like, you know, now a hip-hop musician will drop a song and, you know, instead of investing into the craft, you go like, uh, eventually, when I spend a lot into my uh, craft, there is no way that people will accept it. So, you know, they just leave it like that. And, you know, comparing to, uh, you know, comparing our effort to the Afro uh, beat musicians, you, could re you can really see that they are, you know, putting greater effort. We are sitting there, not putting our uh, much effort into our craft and yet we we, we we go like 
the people are not accepting it and this is because we are not pushing it to the people we've not pushed it enough to the people we have people you know i walk on the street every day and i get people like oh Charlie, i really love your vibe i really love your you know stuff but they always go like we got people yeah yeah we got reactions you know i get reactions i get uh, reactions you know on my songs every day like people really love it and it's not only me we have series of hip-hop musicians in ghana who can really take the country you know far who can really put the country on the mic we like we have the likes of the M dot manifest we have the likes of gemini we have me myself jimmy raff we have the likes of uh, j towns i don't even remember the likes last time j town dropped the song Dicky Main, my main man, yo, Dicky Main. We are all, you know, doing greater, but instead of investing into our crafts, we always go like Charlie. The people will not accept it. Have we tried? We've not, we've not been trying enough. We've not been trying enough. And as a matter of fact, with all the tracks I've released so far, it was a hip hop musician that, you know, among all my tracks, I think the biggest song among all my tracks is a hip hop music. It's a hip hop music. And, you know, the reactions was very great. I And I, I think, th and that was, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you can just go onto my YouTube channel and stream it. You can go onto my YouTube and stream it. Ladies and gentlemen, was the biggest song. And, you know, who are those listening to these songs? It's my fellow Ghanaians. <laughs> it's my fellow Ghanaians. Yeah. You know, yeah, I do get reactions from diaspora. Yeah, I do get reactions from all these foreign countries. America, you know, I think I get reactions from America. I get reactions from the, the UK, uh, Mexico's and stuff. And I think when we push a little harder, we can really take the country far. You know, when we push a little harder, you know, we've been allowed to be carried away with that wrong perception, the wrong mentality. Yeah, we've been allowed to, you know, how can the Nasty Seas, you know, we have greater musicians in Africa, you know, the likes of the Nasty Seas, aka Casper Nuvez, you know, all trending. Like, they release a song and, you know, they'll be trending in Ghana. And how, why can we? The local rappers, the local hip hop musicians also do the same. Lyrical Joe, shout outs to uh, the likes of Lyrical Joe and you know, Manifest Charlie. You are really doing great, man. I've released a song, go stream it. Dicky Main, Dicky Main has a song, go stream it, man. Lyrical Joe, Lyrical Joe will be releasing a sweep, I guess. Charlie, the hip hop musicians, we are really doing some. Charlie, we, yeah, you know, as much as I'm blaming ourselves, you should also, you know, stream it so that we can also put the country on the map, man. Because it's not everybody that will be able to do that, do that, 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 that Afrobeat. We shouldn't always, like, we shouldn't always, you know, push people to do what they don't have passion for. Everybody in Ghana can be doing high life. You know, we can't all be doing Afrobeat. We can't all be doing, you know, everybody has his or, an, uh, uh, his or her own passion. You know, so we should always try our best to support people with their passion, man. Hmm? Hey, child. What's up? Yeah. We shouldn't try our possible you know we shouldn't try every ways and means to you know uh to kill people's uh passion for a certain genre you know which that's how come sometimes i even get tired of uh the nigerian musics you know the nigerian music because whenever i go onto youtube to stream nigerian music it's always love oh, like love like every day the same approach the one way thing like I, uh, I easily get tired, man. But in Ghana, we have a series of genres, you know, trending. Talents, talents, man. We have talents. We should support, you know, we should support the hip-hop thing, man. And we the hip-hop musicians too, we should invest, we should invest into our crafts. You shouldn't be, you know, allowed. 
to be carried away with that wrong perception that the hip hop thing cannot break through. You shouldn't be allowed to, you know, be carried away. If they are uh, not to seize the Kendrick Lamar's, the Eminem's can do it, we can also do it, man. We can also do it, man. Fun time. Yo. Yo, so I got my new track on my streaming platform. Go check it out. Go stream it. Uh, Clean your vibe. You know, half killing your vibe. I'm on the mic, it's never gonna be an amount for y'all. Rap abuser without any apology. Critting scars on your fucking career. Succeed is gonna boost your economy. And how, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, you know, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, what's last year? How lying, trying to make you a free man, but still got one more gun. I'm in a rough time with some bullet street boy in the hood to the fullest. I'm not even my prime time in the central sea. Many bars I keep on loading. Great mind of the instru. Pop smoke in the instru. Fun time with my whole crew. Drill in with my whole crew. Bridge a gap between Jimmy and Marshall on the mic. I break the rules. Made it a made it from the bottom. Yeah. 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 Go check it out, man. I have all these songs on this same YouTube channel, Charlie. Go check it out. Yeah. I think I'll look on Oh, okay, there's a message. Go check it out. It's your boy Jimmy Ralph, man. Support the movement, yeah. You can follow me on all social media platforms. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on yeah Instagram at Jimmy Ralph. Jimmy Ralph. Just go on Instagram and type Jimmy Ralph. You can follow me on Facebook at Jimmy Ralph underscore Carter, yeah. Jimmy Rap, you know the Jimmy is spelled, you know the normal Jimmy Rap R A F, you know Jimmy J I M M Y Rap R A F underscore Carter C A R T E R on you know on Facebook, you know go check it out, man. Fun time.